Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. <laughs> this is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 23rd through to the 29th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright. Followed then by the Ace of Cups upright. Next, we have the King of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Queen of Cups upright. And lastly, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. Holy Cups, Aries. It could be an emotional week for you, for some of my Aries out there. Could be a romance involved. There could just be something, you know, creative, something that you love to do. There could be uh, all kinds of things. Let's get started with your reading. We have the Hierophant for the overall energy. This is Taurus energy. Um, this could just be basically about a contract, making a commitment. For some of you, definitely, it's about making a love connection, a love commitment with the Ace of Cups here and all these cups here. So yeah, definitely, uh, some of you could be making a commitment to someone new that you're dating. Others of you, it could be... Uh, even, you know, if this is your partner, maybe things are, if things were a little rocky lately, it could be that things get back on track again. Uh, maybe some of you decide to recommit or even maybe uh, renew your vows, things like that. Others of you could be committing to something that really, really sort of um, brings some kind of great emotional fulfillment to you. So whatever the situation is, the Hierophant being your overall energy just basically indicates a, a level of commitment. For some of you, it could be contracts because the Hierophant does govern signing contracts. It could be signing contracts. Um, or committing, uh, you know, to something that you love to do. Uh, this can sometimes indicate a spiritual connection. Maybe some of you are finding a new spiritual or religious group that you are making a formal uh, commitment to. It could be that it's bringing you great emotional joy or happiness, and you're definitely wanting to, you know, uh, get along with that sort of uh, congregation. Others of you, this could be about signing a contract, especially if anything official. It could be like, uh, say for example, some of you could be um, signing on to a school or something like that, getting you know a, a six-year uh, contract, term contract, that kind of thing, or with the government. Whatever it is, it's it, it's something that's going to bring great emotional joy to you. That's very clear in the the following cards. With the Ace of Cups here in the upright position at the beginning of the week, indicate, indicate something new is being birthed here. The Ace of Cups usher in some kind of, you know, new emotional peak experience. It can be for some of you, like I said earlier, if you were having trouble in a relationship or a marriage or something like that, it could be that you're getting back on track. Maybe for some of you, there is a, a baby being born. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can represent that, can be that beautiful, uh, you know, loving feeling that we get. It could even be a new pet. Maybe some of you are bringing a new pet into your home. It's uh, something that opens the heart on the emotional front. It uh, can definitely indicate new love for some of you. If you're single and looking, there could be uh, somebody who's really, really striking your fancy this week, and perhaps you are more than willing to make a commitment to this person because of the way that they make you feel. Next card up is the King of Cups in the upright position. Well, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, it could be for some of you, the King of Cups is someone external to you. Maybe this is the love interest for some of you. For others of you, this could just be representing that uh, beautiful emotional maturity, you know, that you're dealing with. Especially, right, okay, I'm going to uh, jump ahead with the queen here because the queen follows the king in this reading. You've got the royal couple here. So that's an, a strong indication for those of you who maybe were going through a difficult time in your romantic life or in your marriage. It could indicate that the, you know, the love is being brought back in this situation. You want to renew your vows. You want to stay together. Uh, maybe an emotional connection is becoming stronger than ever, perhaps for some of you because you're expecting a baby or there's a new baby or there's a new uh, situation that's making you feel emotionally fulfilled on the horizon or it's here now, this week for some of you. And it's really, really bringing up... <clears throat> 
a lot of really positive emotional feelings for you and for your partner. So the King of Cups, although this could represent um, your partner, it could also represent, or a love interest, it can also represent somebody you could be talking to because sometimes the King of Cups can represent, you know, a doctor, of, um, a psychiatrist or a counselor or somebody like that that sort of helps us to deal with the emotions because the King of Cups is known for uh, great emotional maturity as well as the Queen of Cups, which follows, again, more Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. But this could just simply indicate that there is a getting back on track for Aries and uh, renewing vows, renewing love again for a certain person. Um, the Queen of Cups, again, could be uh, uh, a person external to you. This could be representative of a family member, a friend, or again, could be a counselor or somebody you're talking to. Or this could be you yourself, Aries, embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups going along with your partner showing great emotional strength and maturity. And the last card you have is the, the um, Nine of Swords in the reverse position. Beautiful. This is about coming out of anxiety and sleepless nights. The Nine of Swords in the upright position is where we're feeling this great amount of anxiety. Could be over many different things. Uh, for some of you, maybe it was about your relationship or, you know, maybe you were just not sure about what to do or, you know, how the partner felt or so forth. But I think this week, especially starting off with the Ace of Cups here, this week it's going to be about emotional growth, emotional happiness. Maybe for some of you this is new, this relationship is brand new, it just came on the scene. And uh, you know, you're, you're taking it places, and you're taking it to good places. And now at the end of the week, your, your anxiety is being lessened. It's just like, whoo, you know, phew, glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. That was a lot of anxiety, a lot of thinking or even overthinking of a situation. And for some of you, it seems like it was about relationships, but for others of you, it could be about making a commitment to something new that came into your life that you love because cups can also represent creativity and things that we love in terms of hobbies or careers sometimes people get their great emotional fulfillment from their careers or from their hobbies so for others of you if it's not representing your love life that's where it could be playing out but it looks like a fantastic week for you Aries I really hope this reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you next week bye bye